Marketing budgets are always a challenge for all of the brands and the companies due to various reasons. It can be the dynamic of the market, where potentially the performance of the brand is not sufficient. Or it can be the demand to invest the resources not only into the marketing budget, but as well into the price promotion within the retail stores or into a different, types of, different types of activities. So for Coca-Cola as well, we are more and more conscious and we are looking for more and more efficiencies and securing that we are effectively investing the budgets that we have across the portfolio of the brands. I believe that, again, being centric to the audience as well for the traditional media and then being innovative and evolving the way that they are also connecting with their consumers, creating omni-screen platforms where people can watch the, the relevant content in the case of the, of the TV. I think that these are the approaches that can enable the growth. Ultimately, I believe that we are all traditional or new or, um, or experimental media. Everybody is actually um, trying to get the bigger share of attention and relevance in people's, in people's lives. And we will be all using all of them, learning and experimenting and trying to be more close to, to the audience, more close to the consumer and more relevant as their own media consumption Habits are changing and the shopping behavior that is changing along as well. I think that um, what we see is that we need to think holistically. There is the integration of the online and offline world. There are new media ecosystems that enable us to create consistent experience and holistic experience for the consumers utilizing again more digital and new media versus the traditional media and then as well what is very important for us is to connect all of the contacts that the brand has with the consumer through all experience whether it is media or a retail experience or it is the sampling event that we are organizing or the experience that they have simply with the product and, uh, and the packaging so one of the big um, one of the big efforts that we are making is as well related to the packaging innovation and connecting this whole circle together and delivering consistent experience and messages wherever people are in touch with us. I think that there are many marketing tasks that can be solved in-house or with the agencies. I think that the best solutions are always when in-house and agencies are working together to come up with, uh, with the creative solutions. Traditionally, what we are doing in-house is usually being more focused on the analytics, defining strategies, developing innovations, and even in these cases, we are hugely relying on the support and the data and the insights that we are receiving, for instance, from our research agencies or the innovation agency partners. And then I believe that in the way when we go to market and when we start to execute marketing programs, then our agencies are playing a bigger role in terms of the number of tasks that they are actually doing to make things happen. Still, as I have said before, I believe that the magic is in the collaboration in being actually one team that resolves specific business problems or addresses the opportunities. That's the only way to go forward. I think it is crucially, it is crucially important that the brands create relevant content for the consumer and the quality of the content that people actually want to see and to, to consume. Traditional advertising, 30 seconds TV, TV commercial, I think that's still out there and it will still play a role. However, it is not sufficient anymore to gain the attention and the heart and mind of the, of the audience. What we are seeing is that more user-generated content, more of the influencer marketing, relevant promotional activities, various engagement tools that we are putting out in the market, especially in collaboration with the digital partners. I think that these are some of the new ways that, uh, that, the, content is, uh, that the content is evolving. And I believe that there are no perfect recipes. We all need to be in the learning mode. We need to be willing to, to experiment and to try new ideas and things. 
while still rely, relying on the proven recipes. Again, as the combination of the proven and the new, I believe that we will you know, find success moving forward. I think all of it, uh, primarily AR, we believe that there are a lot of opportunities for us to, to leverage more augmented reality to bring out the content or the information related to the product, simply because very often our packages are small and we cannot, even if we, if we want to, we cannot physically place potentially everything that might be useful for the consumer on the pack. So this is where we are going. This as well gives us the opportunity to bring more relevant content that can be uh, as well connected to the other platforms that can be super geo-targeted, that can be even personalized in certain cases. We are as well evolving the technology related to our equipment. Today in the market, we have what we call connected coolers and uh, as well, hopefully our package, our cooler and uh, uh, user with their mobile phone will be connected so we can personalize more and more of the of the offers and the messaging that we are that we are placing out in the market. Yes, I believe we do, I, and I think that this is even the the, the global topic right now. Um, in the area of digital, still we do not have solutions, and I believe that we need to work again cross industries and cross media to jointly to jointly find uh, the solution and understand, again, the effectiveness of our investment and bring more transparency to, to the business. And it's not only the fraud traffic, I think it's as well the topics of the brand safety and many other things. Yes, I think the Russian market is, uh, is a challenging market in a way, primarily because of the volatility, because there are very short cycles when the market and the incomes could be growing and then suddenly it might turn into, into the negative trend. I believe that what we are doing is as well what many other companies are doing. We always want to be consumer centric. And if there is a time of challenge in disposable income, affordability becomes more important. Then together with our retail partners, we have been offering much more of the price promotion activities so that our brands can be accessible and affordable to, to the consumers. Still, at the same time, there is a, there is a balance and, uh, and there are potentially as well innovative activities that we can do, introducing new packages, new types of, uh, new types of products, simply smaller sizes that can be affordable to the consumer at the, at the different, at the different price point. So we are utilizing all of these tools to address the situation. And for sure, we are optimistic about uh, the future of Russia. And I believe that there are indications that there is the recovery of the market uh, coming up and we expect to see as well accelerated growth of the disposable income.